Hey everybody, um, I thought today I would uh, I'd play some Starbound for you. Uh, I played a ton of it during the beta as a human. Since the full release, I have played some of the, some of the game as a human, but I've not really played much more than that. So let's just leap in. Um, I figured I would play a different race today. That's why I keep going about playing as a human, because I'm quite curious to see how um different intros go for different races i think there's different intros for different races so we'll see um that's my other character uh so create a new character uh what we've we got avian i do like different races i think um there's some interesting i think the glitch have like a for robots that's kind of interesting so they've got a medieval background the florins are basically plant people but uh, <laughs> but they are they are stuck um so it's not stuck they are they are very aggressive and carnivorous for the most part so um i'm not too well up on the others the avians a race of colorful bird folk whose tribal culture revolves around the worship of cluix is that the wind god god of the aether their soldiers are trained from birth to be fierce warriors who will protect with temples at any cost i like that the Nova Kids are a mysterious race of interstellar gas bag people, and they have no chart of settlements and no documented history. They're volatile beings, untroubled by the past. No one knows where what they're made of, much less where they came where they came from. So I'm butchering that, aren't I? But um yeah, that's that's quite interesting. I like that. Came from and what have we got? Uh the Hio the Hilotal. I think I've been pronouncing that wrong all the time. They place great value on ancestral tradition and take great comfort in the arms. By the way, this menu music, man, I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know how many people who, who are listening to this, if anyone ever actually does end up listening to this, I don't know how many of you um, played the old, uh, any of the old Civilization games, but man, that, uh, I think it was Civ 4, um, where it got Baba Yetu by Christopher Tin. Um, Man, so good, so good. I loved it. So anyway, that's going off in the tangent, but I really love this music, man. Um, the peaceful Kyoto place, great value on ancestral tradition and take great comfort in the arts. Original dwelling on land, their passive nature made me to play with... Ah, yes, I remember these. And they're driven beneath the waves. So the Florins basically took over the land and they, they sort of um, were driven under the oceans. Uh, and of course... Uh, the humans. In spite of their long and turbulent history, humans tend to possess a light-hearted and optimistic outlook towards life in the universe. Humanity set about forming a society that would unite the people of the universe, the Terrene pr Protectorate, and also the Apex as well. I forgot about them. Uh, basically, Planets of the Apes, baby. Um, sort of. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I, I like the first one I looked at, the Avians. Um, I'm going to go with them. I think they're interesting. So... I'm gonna be a boy avian. Uh, let's see. Kind of cool. Uh, feather color. I think I might go for blue. Is there a dark blue? Probably go for the light blue. Plumage. Could play a female character, I guess. I, I, hmm. I don't know. I like that one. Shirt. You go with that. Uh, leg wear. Oh, I like the that thing. Go with that one. Personality. Hmm, so that one's a bit more sneaky sneaky. This one's a bit more haha. -ha. Or maybe that one's a bit more haha. -ha. Uh, I'll go with that. Sort of standard one. Beat. I like I like the hooked beak. Let's go with that. I don't know how clearly you can see it. Fluff. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Go 
Yeah, why not? Shirt colour. Yeah, dark blue legwear colour. Name. Hmm. Usually I'd choose my own name, but for it to sound bird like, I have no idea. So we'll we'll random roll it. Quitson. Clacton. Next all. Um. Ah, uh, I could. Should it be a bird name or should I? Because I'm not sure if you. I suppose if you go into multiplayer games, you bring in a. You bring in one of your pre-created characters, I would have thought. Um, right. Okay, he can be called Bird Matt, because why not? Difficulty. Uh, each survive, drop items on death. When you die, your character stays dead. No, because I'll die right at the beginning. No need to eat, no death. So we'll go with survival. We'll just drop items on death. We'll keep the intro mission because, as I said before, I want to see what it's like. So let's go. Bird mat. <laughs> Come on. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I really, I really did look forward to the final release of this game. And then I didn't play. I played a bit of it, but I never really got around to playing that much of it. Wake up! Wake up! You have overslept! I should probably do a robot voice, right? Okay. Get up! Uh, to interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E if you're awake enough to do so. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you can... There we go. Uh -huh. Come on. Sit on the loo. Do a poop. Uh, I think shift to run? Oh, maybe I can't run yet. Oh, how do you. I think you can look at things with. Is it R? Oh, no, don't go back to bed. I can I play the guitar? There you go. Remember, you can open the door by hovering over it with your cursor and press E. Cool, cool. The uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It's quite impressive, so that you can uh, that you can remain so serene when you're running so late. Well done, you. Okay, so I've just realised this is the same intro mission as you. I could have sworn I, I saw that you got different. Maybe it's just something you're planning on adding to the game later on. But uh, this looks like it's exactly the same intro as I got when I played as a human. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, just, I know where this is going, and I've just realised how ridiculous it all is. It's going to be when I'm... Uh, right, oh yeah, I can wear these over these. Um, yeah. Basically, put it like this. Some bad things happen... What is this? What is this? Uh, oh, graduation flight. Well, why not? Yeah. Bad things happen and... I really should have given my character a better name. Whatever. Soon you'll be a real protective with your very own matter manipulator. Must be exciting. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> After a bit of a late start, on <laughs> you bird, Matt? Well, I suppose so. That's me all over that. Come on, who's this? I'm with Tareen Protector. It took me for happy tips. Press I to open your inventory. That's good to know. Uh, Q will drop the item you're holding. Oops. Uh, N to toggle scan mode and inspect objects. Ah, that's how you inspect. Right. Cool, cool. Super egg shaped. Cool, cool. Uh, how do I get uh, hit N again? Hello? Control to move the camera around. Oh, okay. How do I. Or is it to say? Yeah, but how do I unselect the... Oh, jeez. I want to unselect the... Ah, there we go. Ah, okay, I've done it. 
I get one of these? Uh, I've literally just went so I can buy one or buy a couple of bottles of water. Soda, refreshing can of soda, oculemonade drink, or soothing. Um, right, I guess I'll buy two of these. There we go. Bought me some water. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it can get worse. <laughs> oh, it can get worse, all right. If things go the same way I'm expecting it, they do. You missed a spot. You. Frustrating. Uh, what? Weary. Every day, more petals to sweep. Patient, just one day away from retirement. Resigned. I suppose this tree's beauty provides some justification for its upkeep. Sure does. Hello. Sit with me for a moment and let us enjoy this beautiful blossom. Okay, yeah. Huh? Tree has stood for centuries, a symbol of protection, strength, and dignity. I do like the wind chimes, very nice. Chimes in the tree. Ah, okay, whatever. Right, sitting, sitting. Gotta move, bye. Mm -hmm. Really <laughs> close, bird, <but>, man. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, ooh, uh, I think I can inspect these. Can I inspect? No. This big tree is precious to the protectorate. I heard it's as old as the academy. Wow. Uh, what's this? We're in a long time ago being guidelines for being a protector. Portrait of the first grand protector. He looks very proud of the book he's holding. Uh, this old grand protector has a young twinkle in his old eye. Don't judge a book by its cover. Eager, my very own matter manipulator. I figuratively cannot wait. Mm. Um, hey, come back in. Nervous, do my, do my bolts look bigger? Some nice dialogue in this game. Not many Florins become protectors. Lauren is proud to be chosen. Very nice. I came here early to make sure I wouldn't miss the ceremony. Uh, hey, Birdmat! <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to show up or not. Were you? What, if I was going to show up or not? Do you think I was just going to miss my own... Jesus Christ. Right, let's just get out of here, shall we? Take this matter manipulator and get out of here. That's all we really came for anyway, isn't it? Let's be honest. My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. You gonna keep talking? Hello? Uh, that task to protect our fellow beings, to support, house, and educate those that seek our aid, and to foster a cord between those that aspire to it. Carry on. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots and present them each with our greatest tool. Am I their greatest tool? You know, tool with a capital T. Ah, matter manipulator. Oh, what was that? Shitters! <laughs> what? What the? Uh oh. Oh shit, son. <laughs> oh, she wants me to take the matter manipulator. Well, I would have took it anyway. Is that Tarunga Leela in the background? Shit. They killed Leela. Oh, I got... Wait, where did I get that pickaxe from? Oh, it, oh, it is a matter manipulator. Okay, sorry. My mistake. Can I go back? I don't think I can go back. Oh, I can jump. Can I run yet? Oh, I'm default running. Okay. Good music. I like it. I ha I'm going to take... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Radiating Grand Protector. Ruin Portrait. Nathan Grand Esther Bryant. Okay. Leader Portia, former Grand Protector. Uh, so we gotta mine out all of this. Is way doing. Oh, it's R to. Oh, okay. R to do. Near way of. Uh... Yeah, no, I've done it. I've done it, yo. Um, right. 
also got a room for the Golly planet, um, and it's autumn. It's not looking good. Alright, so the water is fell from water tank into the room below. Oh yeah, can I get a drink? No. I really want to open this. <laughs> Hmm, it won't let me. Oh well. Right. Do I have to fight this bastard thing? I don't know if that's gonna hurt me or not, so um uh, Can I Hey, can I go this way? Oh I can go this way. Oh fuck. Hang on, what is that? Torn Protector, okay. Oh, cool. Did I I might have missed that before, you know. On my last, my last game. Right. Now I think there is a way to mine more stuff at the same time as my manipulator, but I think I have to upgrade it later on. The chest sitting on a conveyor belt should be there. Yeah. Okay. A weapon. Um. I'll take the money and I'll take the weapon. Where's the weapon? All oh, right. So do I have to? Put the weapon on. Oh right, in one of these. Okay. Okay, cool. Can I actually take the chest itself? I'd like to take the chest. That's it. Uh, at the top of the screen. I'm pressing for it. Oh yeah, well that's what I'm. Mm. Uh, can I? Can I access these? One. Oh, so, oh right, yeah, that used my whatever you call these action points or something. Just did my little special move there. Okay, so I don't think I can currently actually yet later on they contain uh, Okay. I don't know if this does this hurt me? Oh no, it doesn't hurt me. Just when I don't for decades, but the supplies usually keep. Oh, right, they're all essentially the same thing. Ah, can I search that one? I might do. Oh, we got uh, bandages. I'll take that. Oh, can I? I don't think I can take the chest, but it could be useful. No, it doesn't look like Okay. Damn! I'll get out of there quick! Fucking Squidward. Destroying the Earth.